Hi, and welcome back to Toadstool Tarot. <clears throat> I have for you today the Everyday Tarot. Um, when I was designing my own deck oh, a little over a month ago, I was, uh, to help me do the illustrations, I googled images from different cards in the tarot deck and images from a number of decks came up on the screen and I used those as reference materials to help me design a simplified uh, tarot. And one of the decks that I found more useful than many others was the everyday tarot. Um, a lot of these images are modern, they're clean, they're straightforward. Let's get into the deck. It comes in a little box. I would guess that these are probably playing card sizes. It has a magnetic enclosure. The everyday tarot, the outside of the box doesn't say who it's by other than running press and it's listed at $12.95 in the US. I got it on Amazon for I think under $10. I believe it's still available uh, very cheaply. Now you open the box and inside it's like a fold-out flap here and there's a little little mini little white book. Well, it's not a white book, but it's a little purple book. And it's kind of thick. It's uh, 87 pages. It's all in English. It has one page per card. Upright and reversed meanings. Um, no illustrations. Just very straightforward. Um, contents to this guidebook. Major Arcana, Minor Arcana, and the individual suits. That's all it is. No, no must, no fuss. Okay, it credits on the title page here. Bridget Esselmont. Illustrations by Eleanor Grosch. Uh, Bridget Esselmont, I believe, is the person behind the Biddy Tarot. And she's also the person behind this deck. Now, the cards come in this little kind of plastic box that's glued in. And it's a little difficult to open. I've opened it a few times. There's some plastic glue seals on here you have to remove first. And then, even then, it's like a vinyl, hard vinyl box it's a little bit hard to get the flap open and get the cards out. The cards are wedged in there against a, a foam padding backing. And the cards and the book both have what looks like uh, water damage to me. <laughs> you see this little sort of white halo smudge or streak on the cards and the book. That's not a flaw, that's actually part of the design. Unfortunately, I think it looks like a manufacturing flaw, and I'm not sure why they put it in there, because it's not an obvious enough enhancement to make it feel, uh, seem artistic. It, it looks more like a mistake to me. The deck, nice little deck, um, like I said, I think these are playing card size, maybe a little wider, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the distinction between playing cards, bridge cards. Um, I think I have a couple of um, Lenor Lenormand decks that have cards this size. They are smaller than tarot cards, uh, standard tarot cards. Um, the edges are gilt, but it's not a really nice gilt. It's sort of a rough 
rough looking gilt that looks kind of like cheap glitter to my eyes. I, I'm not thrilled with it. I'm not big on bling anyway, but if you're going to put gilt on it, make the gilt look nice. This just looks kind of cheap to me. But hey, it's for a $9 deck or whatever. It's not bad. The cards themselves are okay cardstock, but it's matte cardstock. And I find they tend to stick and clump. I should be able to move this around smoothly, glide it independent of the other cards and you see what happens they all get pushed along in little clumps and groups so I'm not thrilled with the card stuff that's the back design very straightforward and the images that's the fool oh it's another thing the uh, the color in this deck is gold and dark purple neither of which are particularly pleasing to me um, I think mostly it's the gold I'm not thrilled with it's not a metallic gold it's just kind of a beige looking ink that's supposed to simulate gold but it just looks beige to me almost yellow ochre but now I like the simple straightforward artwork in here it has the most most relevant symbols in the images to define the archetypes if you uh, if you've seen my deck you'll see where I picked up on some some suggested imagery and the angel wings here I think this is a very nice, very straightforward deck. I just wish it had better card stock and uh, colors that I enjoyed more. I don't expect that I will use this really other than for uh, an art reference if I decide to do another deck of cards um, another tarot deck In my deck, the uh, Judgment card is like this too. It's just a simple um, angel playing a horn and one figure in a coffin. Mine, if you don't know already, it's called the Open Face Tarot on makeplayingcards.com. The majors only deck. So now we are into the minors for the everyday tarot. If you are familiar with the Rider Waite system, you will see a lot of the most essential elements in the cards depicted here. They, they tell the story in a very straightforward way with as few distractions, as few elements as possible.
very easy to read. It's probably a very good learner's deck. And if you already have a Rider Weight Smith deck, these images will come as no surprise to you. They will be easy for you to, to read. If you're looking out there for decks under ten dollars, I'd I might recommend this one. I don't know whether the cards will loosen up and become easier to shuffle over time, but like I said, initially they tend to sort of cling, cling and clump, which never endears me to a deck. Sometimes that happens when the cards are too glossy. Sometimes it happens when they're too matte. I tend to like them in that in-between Goldilocks stage of not too slick, not too rough, smooth, dry, what do you want to call it. Just a nice, nice sl slippery feel to them. Sometimes uh, very heavily laminated cards, the lamination tends to stick. And sometimes when they're very matte, the matte surface doesn't glide well, which is the case with this deck. It does seem to me like uh, there are a lot of uh, female figures in this deck in positions often um, depicted by males in the regular rider weight. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, no, here we go. Here's the Four of Pentacles. Although, this looks like it could be female, but I suppose it could be either gender. This one, the Five of Pentacles, is one figure in the snow. Definitely, look, definitely looks female to me. Yeah, let's see, here's the Six of Pentacles. Looks like a woman, and usually it's a guy. So this uh, might be a deck for you, particularly if you want a deck um, oriented mostly to female um, representation. Oh, and there are two, two final little cheat cards, which are nice. One is, uh, oh, I guess it's not really a cheat card. One says seven steps to an accurate and insightful tarot reading. It just gives you little suggestions. And then the other one is quick, quick tarot spreads, a daily one card check-in and three card spreads. And it suggests 
several there. So that's in lieu of the usual information that uh, would come in a little white book. So anyway, just a quick uh, walk through, run through of the everyday tarot. I do sort of like the the magnetic box and the uh, the way that the little white book is held in a little sleeve. If I can get it back in, yes, in the box. I'm not thrilled with this plastic box in here. Um, I think they could have just as easily made this a, a cardboard box with the magnetic enclosure the way a lot of them do. And I wonder if that wouldn't have been cheaper than uh, having to source out a plastic liner box and foam for the inside. But uh, now you see I'm having trouble getting the plastic part closed. There we go. So there you have it. 